look at the colour of this sky, guys. How amazing is that? What, behind you? Right next to me. Did you hear that? Yeah, it was a Welcome back guys to another adventure of Brothers Wild. This is, that is, of course I am. And today we are in the Moss Valley. We used to come here as kids. We've seen loads of spooky stuff. There's also blocked up caves here from witches and satanic little rituals and things. And we'll tell you all about that a bit later on. Also about the gray lady that goes across the pond in the middle of the night. But yeah, we'll bring you back in a bit. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> Gonna give all this over fifties a heart attack now, do you know that? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, many, many years as kids. Spooky old bridge, this. Oh. There's a frame for a camping chair there. Same as mine, it's in goodness as well. I'm gonna buy it over there. Hello. Buy a thing there, didn't you? Just eat the. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it here. Hey. Someone doesn't know how to make the fire, but someone's got a fire. Oh, so someone's decided to camp here. It's not a bad spot actually. There's a house there though. Yeah. It's on the top of the house. Yeah. We'll go and have a look where we said. So I used to come fishing down here as a child and I used to love it in the summer, sitting here all day. I used to go to a place called Deggies in Wrexham. Yeah. People who fish probably know the place. That's why I used to get my maggots and I'd be sitting just down here with my rod. Oh yeah, with my old Walkman headphones on. Just chilling in the summer, used to love it. Uh, yeah, but I used to walk through here on a daily basis going to school and uh, the other pond over here I'm going to show you in a minute one day it was really foggy and uh, I seen this figure going through the fog walking through the fog it was like a grey lady and it was through the mist I thought it was a person at first but then you look and it was just the river uh, just the pond and I was thinking wow how can that be was it my own imagination? Was I intoxicated on LSD? We'll never know. But yeah, definitely seen that when I was a kid. It did spook me. So this place has got uh, a lot of memories, a lot of memories, because I used to live up here. 
Uh, the same goes for my brother as well. He used to come down here a lot. Uh, yeah, so we're going to enjoy this camp. There's a few places we're going to explore later. We're going to try and find these caves where there's uh, a lot of witchcraft that, uh, that happens there. And they're supposed to be really haunted, but we're going to have a look for those in a bit. So, uh, this is the pond where I've seen the grey lady that one morning walking to school. You can walk down this road here and then up this road here. So, I'd come past this most mornings so yeah this is the second part of the pond the moss valley there's some steps up here in a minute that we're going to go up to get into the forestry area we'll look for somewhere to camp and at the same time find some entrance to these caves if we can let's go <laughs> It's a bit further up, but these are the rock faces I was on about. Is there an entrance there? No, I thought it was an entrance. There's another rock face here. Someone's camped here. Loads of wood up there. Nah, it's getting windy, it? <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful. Lewis the adventurer. <laughs> right, get your ass down. Aye. Get get down now. <laughs> Kids say. Ooh, hello. Good contender. This is a very good contender, this. That rock's blocking the wind from these trees. They're not going to get uprooted. If we cleaned all this away down here and make some flat. Could be a spot, right? Yeah. to do because this is literally the end of the road. Fence in there. Derelict buildings over here. And a house just beyond that that used to be a pub. Yeah, I think that spot that we just found is probably the best. Um, I believe the caves are beyond 
the uh, golf course, so if we get time before it goes dark, we'll try and get down there. Okay. This is the dead end. Fencing and derelict buildings there, so that's our only spot, I think. So I guess, guys, that this is going to be home for the night. We're going to clean it up. We've got a bit of... Uh, protection here with this this bank here but there's a footpath that comes straight up here so they're gonna see us if they do come up there but I don't think many people come up that footpath if I remember rightly it's like the last footpath um, so yeah I think we're gonna clean up tidy up here get our tent set up yeah yes So, I did tell everyone that I was going to come out and uh, try the hammock out tonight, but because of the wind, I thought, do you know what, I'll have to go with the tent tonight. But I will get into that hammock as soon as I can. But yeah, back out with the bobcat. Be a plane somewhere. Yeah, jet engine that is. <laughs> got a jet engine, <laughs> got a jet engine in there. So my brother's getting uh, a weird feeling of anxiety. Not like I'm feeling anxious, just but I feel like I shouldn't camp. It's one of them times I've never had it before. I feel like saying, pack up and go. Yeah. Be, uh, I don't know what it is. Not a scary feeling, it's not, it's just a high anxiety. I've never felt it when I'm camping before in my life. Mm. But something saying, don't camp tonight. Ooh, mm. crazy. There we go. We'll see, might be the best night yet. <laughs> it could be. So there's the camp there. Enough, plenty of tents here. Mine just tucked over there, which is here. And Lewis has gone for a bit of elevation there. Right then, let's go through what we got. Right, got some water. We've got some Johnny Walker Black Label treating ourselves tonight. We've got two bottles of IPA, and that was off a follow of ours, which I'm gonna give a shout out in a bit. I've got a beautiful Cuban cigar. Ooh. Baby. Got some katsu curry long grain rice to go in with chicken, pepperamis, coffees, and we have three deep filled puffed apple pies. I brought a chair as well, so I'm gonna sit on that in a minute. Oh yeah. That's me all set up, so I think uh, what I'm gonna do now, my chair there as well, is just get some rocks down here somewhere and uh, build a little fire. Uh, a couple of people have walked past, just stopped and went walked on and they said hello so just people intrigued I guess yeah it's a crazy spot this <laughs> we're hoping the wind stays down tonight we really are but yeah right let's build this fire there we have it guys some rocks around here some sticks to start it off we're gonna brush some of these leaves back as well we're just collecting some wood there's already quite a bit here, weren't they? Already collected for us. <laughs> Not too bad. Um, maybe get rid of some of this as well. An old fallen tree. Hope it's not a bad omen. My tent's right above a couple, but they look solid enough to me. Hopefully the wind is not extreme. We've been in worse wind, I guess. But yeah, maybe it's nearly set up now. Oh. So guys, with us coming here a bit later, I think, because it's getting a bit dark and now we want to look for a good spot, we might have to come back and explore for the caves unless we get up really early in the morning and we'll have a look. Um, I know you can't enter these caves anyway, but apparently there's an entrance or there's a little thingy that goes near the caves but doesn't actually attach to the caves, but yeah. Apparently these caves lead up to the tunnels to Wrexham. I think there's a YouTuber who's done a, a video about the uh, the old tunnels that go under Wrexham um, from the church, even though the church has denied that. 
um, but I know uh, there's a certain pub in Wrexham. I've been down to the cellar and I've seen this tunnel bricked up and what it leads straight to the church. As far as I'm aware, the history goes, legend has it, the monks from the church used to sneak in these tunnels and they'd stay in the cellars of this pub and they'd, they'd get served by the landlord in the cellars so no one in the public could see him having a, a swifty coo couple of drinks. It's kind of cool and I think they were used for other things as well. My knowledge is not 100% great on it, but I know a little bit about it. Maybe I'll research it one day and maybe we can find a few tunnels. But yeah, so there's a golf course just down here. So we'd have to go down this path here, follow the valley all the way down, and then the golf course. And I think the, um, if I remember rightly, the, the, the uh, caves are about a mile and a half away. So because it was getting a bit dark and we left it a bit late today, I thought, we'll just find a spot. Um, our spot is literally down here is the um, second pond where I seen something when I was little. But yeah, right. Oh, I think I'm gonna have a coffee. I really am. I'm gonna have a coffee. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, uh. What'd you say? So I'll start going right soon. <laughs> Every spot probably three thousand bag. Ooh, say that. Ah, the pork pies. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Fancy a coffee at the moment, guys, just to warm the cockles up. Yeah. And then we'll get on the beers in a bit. This chair's sinking a little bit here, I might have to move this in a bit. There we have it, a nice hot coffee. <laughs> Had to move my chair a little bit because I was sinking. <laughs> Right guys, I need to say a massive thank you to Alora Roberts from Wrexham. Um, she kindly had some beers dropped off to us um, while I was working the other day. She gave me a message and she asked, uh, would you like some of these odds and ends beers and wines that we got left? And I obviously uh, Cheers, uh, said, yes, please. Uh, and it was um, her daughter, Tegan, and her fella that dropped them off so we had a good chat about the videos and about the channel and how they're enjoying it so thank you very much guys so this is a red IPA uh, Welsh red IPA it's 5% and it's called Bendy Get a Fan so it's from near Anglesey uh, where does it say it's from exactly I don't know I don't know but it's a Celtic brew it's an award winning for 2019 let's have a go Ooh. Very good. That is nice. Lovely bitterness there to it. It's a nice dark IPA. Very refreshing. Oh, very good. Let's try that. So Lewis is going to have a go. Yeah, it is dark. Very um, Guinnessy. Yeah. Like the um, Guinness IPA, if that makes sense. Yeah, like a Guinness IPA. So like, a, like a stout. Yeah, it's similar, isn't it? Mm. Come on, Rich, give it a go. It's good, that. Strong grapefruit, that, isn't it? Yeah. Very citrusy. Citrusy, that's yeah, the one. Isn't it? It's thank you very it's much. It's like a stout taste, yeah, isn't it? In the yeah. aftertaste, yeah. It's lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was really nice. Appreciate that. <coughs> Thank you from all of us at Brothers Wild. Oh, by the way, we did, they, she did actually give us um, a few other bottles as well. Oh yeah, we got wine. Uh, so basically, here's the picture. She gave us three bottles of wine, a bottle of cider, 
and two of these bottles. The cider I drank last night <laughs> while I was at home when I finished work. And then we get the bottles for today. And the wine will take on uh, yeah, different camp, camps. Yeah. But yeah. Do we'll carry them all? Yeah, we can't carry them. It's too heavy. But um, but thank you very much. Hello. Hello, friend. After your cider. It won't focus. <laughs> it focus in ladybug. You don't see any of these these days, do you? Come on. Come on. I had a couple of spiders on my tent last week. <coughs> That's it, get off. Right in that wind trap. <sighs> my tent's not Bigger budging like this. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. There we go. Put you somewhere where we don't set you on fire or crush you. There we go. See you there, mate. So we've decided to risk it for a biscuit, guys. We've left camp, we've left the tents. Fairly exposed, I'm hoping that no one's gonna go there and trash everything. Took our valuables with us, but we're gonna go and look for these this cave, this entrance if we can, while it's still light. Um, so this is the Moss Valley as I remember it. Up there we've got the Treagle Steps, and that's the steps I used to come down as well. This is another route I used to go to in school. There's a little pack horse bridge here. But we're walking towards the golf course now up the road here try and find the entrance to this cave if we can so yeah let's go Ten stops. wow wow why would you go through all that effort yeah, why would yeah, you why would you block all this off? Any way you see down here, is that it? Can't see in it. Side there, said it wasn't easy to get to. It's behind here, but it's been anti-vandal. That yeah, it's shame though, isn't it? Yeah, but it goes to show why would they go through? Why have they spent money and gone through so much effort to stop people going here? Yeah. What's that there? Is that power, is it? Yeah. This is different though. Look, it looks like it's... Look, this wall, look. It leads to it. This wall is built down here. Yeah. It's a structure and it's a tunnel. That tunnel goes all the way through to the Wrexham town. It's a shame there's no way in, isn't there? This is different. This was uh, all overgrown. We used to have to come down here, look. See that up there? That's yeah. why I said it was a hard time. <coughs> when we were kids, we used to climb down this into here. Oh god, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what was knocking then. It's got the satanic symbols all over it, look. Yeah. When I last came down here, about 17 years ago, I was 15 years old. I came with a few friends and we came in the day and found it, came back in the night. We walked down about 50 yards and there was people in there making noises with candles lit chanting doing like rituals and stuff wow. we never came back after then it's the last first time we've come back somebody told me to come up here didn't it yeah but this is definitely it but well it wasn't blocked through. off when i came last that's a shame <laughs> hey man down man down <laughs> 
Zostávala. There's a lot of retaining walls here. Going all around the structure. We're trying to find out if there's actually another entrance here. Apparently there's supposed to be. Oh, slippy. Five minutes, look around here, Let's see if there's actually any other sort of entrance. Doubt there is, probably been blocked up, but hey ho, it's worth a look. Right, I guess we better head back to camp. Right, where's the lads? Where have they gone? Bite me, isn't it? Yep. And obviously they do witchcraft, but uh, you know, regardless of what you believe, it just feels it just feels. And we've literally walked five minutes down the road. Five minutes. When we're camping, when we're camping really peaceful, here it's dark. We just gotta have a look on top because we can see some sandbags there and uh, we just want to try and get some uh, visuals in the cave yeah. of the tunnel rather than the Let's have a look. Yeah, like I said, if there's a fence or something there, it's something worth looking at. Okay. Uh, here. Wait, where are we? It's up there, it is. I can see the sandbags from here. No, no, it's gotta be up there. <laughs> So these are the sandbags we've seen from down there. It's a bad by a fence obviously, because you don't want to fall. It's quite a drop. Is it then? No. I start, it's a con like sandbag, so a concrete slab. There's more sandbags than concrete. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be uh we're not gonna get in there are we? Oh no. Right, I think we're fighting a losing battle here, guys. I think we should just go back to camp. Yeah, at least we know what it is. We'll try our best. So yeah, guys, a bit of a shame about the caves there. Uh, but if people know about any other entrances, let us know. Um, but let us know when the slide. Let us give us an inbox if you can on Facebook or something. Okay, so we are getting on to the whiskey, guys. Bit of a treat. I know it's not single malt, but this is a cracking, cracking whiskey. This is Johnny Walker Black Label. Uh, red Label's good enough, but this is a 12 year aged uh, blended Scotch whiskey. Scotch whiskey is the bomb. Uh, you can get a Blue Label as well, which I think is single malt, very much more expensive. This was actually on offer for 24 quid, so I thought I'd treat us and the lads today with a uh, bottle of whiskey. And I got a, a nice big Cuban cigar as well that we can uh, pass about later. Uh, I'm just going to get one of these down me, a nice little chest warmer. And then in about half an hour's time, we're going to uh, light the fire. Uh, we were talking on the way up, actually, in regards to the history of all these caves and tunnels around Wrexham. Now, I know a YouTuber has tried to uh, find out about it all. I think they were pretty unsuccessful. Um, so we're going to do our research over the next few months, we're going to ask questions, we're going to ask people um, around Wrexham and stuff. Um, yeah, there you go. Around Wrexham about these things and, and try and piece together what they were used for. Were these for mining? Were these for beer distribution? Um, hiding? Was it for the war? But they're a few hundred years old so it would have been prior to the war. Yeah. So anyway, let's taste this whiskey. Oh, 
Oh aye. Yeah, that is very smooth. Yet it's got a nice oaky taste to it. It's very, very fruity. Oh, that's really nice. That's good. That So it's not a single malt, it's beautiful. Stunning that. Oh, wow. oh. Right then. Chill out for a bit. And then get this fire going. It's all that beeping. The cars in the background. Oh yeah. Yeah, probably foot bank head. Better that one. Pretty stronger than the other one. Yeah, stronger, nice. You got one bit of habit in the first bit. Definitely a chest warmer. Right guys, while the uh, fire is blazing, I thought we'll do a round the campfire talk. I'm going to light up my cigar in a bit. Before that, we've had a brilliant question. So I asked people to uh, put some questions down on the post and the only one we've had so far is uh, from a Jeff Nielsen. And it says, Hello guys, I think a discussion about ghosts would be interesting even talk about any experiences anyone has had or even if you believe in ghosts definitely believe in uh, believe ghosts are real i've had a couple of ghost encounters right <laughs> so when i was younger i think i've talked about this on live streams but not everyone would have seen those live streams so uh, there was an account uh, an account that i've told a lot of people about when i was really young um, i think i was 12 and my brother was six years of age and my mum asked me to take my brother, Lewis, um, out to the park. Um, funnily, funnily enough, just up the road where we used to live. So I took him to the park and it was like any normal day, pushed him on the swings. As I was pushing him on the swings, this little lady came into the park, the metal gate opened. She sat on the bench, just little shopping bags next to her. Seemed nice enough. And then uh, Lewis jumped off the swing and started playing on the slide and that. So I thought I'll have a sit down for a minute. So I sat on the bench. It was quite a long bench, but I wasn't right next to her. But she uh, she turned to me and she started talking. And she was just chatting generally at first. So I thought nothing of it. And um, yeah, she, uh, she was talking away. And then she, she asked me uh, an odd question. She said, your name's not Ashley by any chance, is it? I said, ah, it is, yeah. She goes, are you Catherine's son? So I said, yeah. Yeah, I'm Catherine's son. So uh, she went on to say that uh, she knew my nan, who lived uh, in the next uh, village down. And she said that she was a next door neighbour. So we just chatted away. Um, she left after a good chat, uh, decided to go home. And then uh, I said to my mum, I said, oh, uh, one of nan's next door neighbours uh, was talking to me at the park. She said to say hi. She goes, which next door neighbour? I said, oh, she lives next door, she said. I, I can't remember her name now, because I was quite young, so I can't remember what she said it was. She was, what do you mean, Ash? And she looked really concerned, and I thought, well, a next door neighbour. So she said, hang on a minute. So she went into a photo album and got a photo out, and she goes, it was it this lady? I said, hi, yeah, that's the one. She goes, well, that can't be her, because she'd been dead for two months. So that was, <laughs> that was a pretty scary one. Um, other experiences is where we are right now when I was walking to school one morning it was just breaking light and there was a lot of mist on the pond that's just below us here and uh, I seen this ghostly figure walking through like a nun she was like in prayer mode hood over walking through and I thought hang on a minute that's water so yeah that, that was really spooky I ran to school that morning uh, other experiences um, there's quite a few actually to go through there's one I used to work as a glass collector in a pub one night 
Um, so I came home and when I got back about 11 o'clock at night, the rest of the family were out. They came out for a meal. I was sitting in the front room and the door to the front room was right next to the, the sofa where I, where I was sitting watching the telly. And I heard the door opening and footsteps going through and I just went, you all right, how was your meal? And there was no answer. So I turned my head like that and there was a young girl in the, in the hallway and I thought, oh God, and she goes, I've lost my mum. Now, I wasn't on any drugs. I wasn't drunk at the time, I was a kid. So this was quite spooky. And uh, when I got up uh, to say you're in the wrong house, I turned around and she'd gone and the door was closed. So that was really, really eerie. I've seen things, I've seen, you know, different things that you can't explain. Do I believe in them? I guess I do. I believe in some sort of energy that's out there. I suppose you have to. Woo, that wind. Just as we're talking about it. <laughs> I've got a um, one. You, you come and tell us. I didn't have as many as you. Um, but mine's quite uh, different because the reason that makes my, what makes mine different is because, well, one, it was in the daytime. I wasn't looking for ghosts and there wasn't anything spooky about it. It was in the middle of the summer. And two, it was two of us. So basically, we used to live in a, and mum used to be a warden in uh, Rugsty. We had this like quite big, nice three story house. But it was the warden for old people. And uh, she, the house was situated around all the little bungalows and she'd look after the residents. So it was like a care home, but it was more like a care community. I don't know if you know about them. She had a community centre. All the individual bungalows and your mum was the warden that looked after the old people. So it was in that area, obviously there's a lot of funerals, a lot of people dying there. But it was in the summer, I was about 12, so it was probably no, about 11, which is before I went to high school. Went to high school. And uh, me and another lad called Liam we used to skateboard in the street. So this, you're talking to it 20 years ago now. Um, but we went out skateboarding, came back, and my mum had gone on walk gone out to do her work and we used to live with me, Ash and my sister. So the only person in the house at the time was my sister. So me and Liam, middle of summer, middle of the day, not looking for ghosts, nothing squeaky, we're just enjoying ourselves. Start knocking the, the door, no answer. Start knocking the window to the kitchen. So, smoke in my eyes, just described the window from the outside from the front door is in straight into the kitchen. And then there's a door that goes from the front room, you can't see the front room from the kitchen, into the kitchen. As I'm knocking the door, an old woman, I promise you, on my life, walks out of the bed, out of the front room, wait smoke, into our site, into the kitchen. So we're looking through the window, looking for my sister to get into the house, and an old woman walks into the kitchen, looks at us, and as she looks at us, just starts to disintegrate, and not like a, like a person, just like as if it was cigarette smoke, just completely disappeared. Me and Liam looked at each other, and Liam went, oh my God, did you just see that? And I said the same thing. He ran off crying and he never came near the house again. And I didn't stay there for three weeks. I stayed in that Chris's house. I remember that. So yeah, that was two people. And the last time I seen him was about two years ago in town having a drink. Bear in mind we're 30, you know, in our early 30s now when we were kids at the time. And the first thing he brought up was that, do you remember that time when we seen that <laughs> ghost in the kitchen? So yeah, that that was not looking for it. Wasn't, wasn't spooked, wasn't hearing noises. It was plain sight, seen a old woman disappear in front of my own house, in, in front of my own eyes, in my house, and we've both seen it. So it wasn't my eyes playing tricks, reflections, smoke, none of that, because we've both seen the same thing. So that was why it was convincing, because I've always told myself since then, I've always been a little bit skeptical about it all when I was younger, and I was like, just, if it was just me on my own, I would have probably convinced myself I was seeing things. But because two of us seen us, I can't even do that, so that's my story anyway. Ooh, very spooky guys. Right then guys, if you've got any stories that you want to share, put them down in the comments below. We'd love to read them. We like things like that. But yeah, right, the fire's going. It's burning nice. We're just gonna chill out now. I think I'm gonna get my cigar out, I think. Look at the colour of this sky, guys. How amazing is that? Bit of peach and red in there. Is it a warning of what's to come tonight? <laughs> it's still beautiful though. Right, <coughs> definitely time to light up my cigar. Be looking forward to this. What a treat. 
but uh, here's the cigar guys the tobacco has put it in a nice bag he said I don't want that dehydrating because he said it's a really really good cigar Cuban wow <laughs> right then so this is called a Jose L Piedra Cuban cigar see that oh wow <laughs> smells good you did. oh why it's tasty that That is good. Oh, try that. Stunning. Let's get a little whiskey on the belt. <laughs> Strong. Yep. Very strong. <coughs> oh, that's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to know. Yeah. Thank you. Taste it. So we're having the famous burgers again. So you know how we cooked them last time, so we're not going to record the whole thing, but just wanted to show you how we're cooking them on the campfire. We've got some logs going across there, the burgers on top of the tray. Some onions in there with some of Rich's garlic butter. Yeah. Um, he always brings the goodies, doesn't he? Bless him. He's even got some black pudding and some bacon and some spicy cheese, got everything there. I don't even know why we bring food anymore, Rich always yeah. feeds us. <laughs> Cooking away nicely. Oh aye. So Lewis has first honours. I don't like black pudding, <laughs> so I'm gonna go without it. Good. Perfecto, oh, perfecto. Mm. That chili Jesus is just something else from. Oh, it tastes better on the fire. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So, me and Rich have got a bit of black pudding in here. We're going to chuck on ours. So, yeah. Alright, yeah, guys. Bit of black pudding. Going on there. Burger. With the cheese. Perfectly cooked. Where's them onions? There they are. Nice dollop of onions on top. And Bob is everyone's uncle. Right. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Let's give it a go. Is <coughs> it like Rich? No, very nice. Nice. Not good? Very nice. Right. right. Give you chops around this. <laughs> it's too big to get. <laughs> Oh, hot. <laughs> mm. Oh my. That. Oh. Oh, We've literally yeah, yeah, got about 50 people uh, <laughs> coming down here, kids. The torches. The torches. I heard little girls crying. Like screaming and that, and I thought, oh my god, it's a bit creepy. Look, it's turning the horse there. Look, look behind you. Look behind you. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, the lights. I looked down the corner for the bloody massive thing of witch, witch, like witch, witch hunting. Yeah, loads of torches looking at me. Like, ah!
the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, this is going to go one of five ways. <laughs> I'm sure it's a school trip. Why is it a school trip now? I don't know. So that's a, they might be turning around from this part anyway. They might see yeah. our lights. Well, do it for the better ones. You hear them all? It's a school trip. <laughs> it's a school trip. That's cool, buddy. <laughs> I've never thought in all the time of our videos of Brothers Wild would be encounter a school trip. <laughs> Put that mask on and chase him. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. It's a lot of them. <coughs> well, we've never been on a camp before where we've had a sc <laughs> school outing. Put <laughs> <laughs> my hands up like this. Hi. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> the smallest? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi! <laughs> Days said this is happening. There's about a hundred people walking past. <laughs> you know when I said the moss was busy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I went, I can hear little kids, right? And I ran over, and all I seen was a thousand torches staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this! <laughs> look! I thought it was like some of the Blair Witch. <laughs> Right guys, we're about to do a reading. So there's a cat ball there, you can see flashing, it's just gone off there. There's one on the hill, uh, no, one by here, sorry, as you can see. And there's one just behind us here. We just put them down, that's why they're flashing. So stop it, sir. So just gonna wait till they stop. So these cat balls with flashing lights are used by um, a lot of ghost hunters. And basically what happens is, is when they start flashing is because of some movement. Now the wind has died down a hell of a lot tonight. So there's zero wind. Right, they've all gone off, right? Uh, there's one just behind you, Rich, so just be careful, mate. Come towards me and Lewis. Pick up the reader, if you can. Wait. Got the reader there. Just want to do a quick test. And make sure our equipment doesn't set it off. Can I just see if my camera does? Right, so my, my camera... When touching it, it does go to red. So I'm gonna have Rich ask. I'm gonna ask Rich to stand over there. I just I got an orb, an orb straight away. Right, so it's not flickering now. Just turn it towards me so the camera. That's it. Okay, a little flicker in there. Right, I'm gonna stand over here to so make sure it's not me. Um, right, okay. So what we're gonna do now is gonna ask if there's any presence in this moss valley right now who wants to make their presence known i.e. the grey lady or any sort of person who, who has um, dealt in witchcraft that's been in the caves so if you are wow Is everybody here wow, 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 wow 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 something just went straight past my camera that was crazy anyway right if anybody's there can you please go to red right now or touch one of the cat balls make them move and flash Okay. Can you go all the way to red if you are here? If you understand what I'm saying, please go to red. All the way, please. All the way. I'm getting so many orbs on this camera. Can you make one of these cat balls? We've got three laid around us. All you have to do in is a triangle. Towards the balls. Yeah, just, just touch them. Go near them. 
That's oh. all you have to do. Okay, let's ask another question. If you died here, can you go red? Okay. <gasps> okay, okay. Get, We're getting go that. Closer to the, go, go to the device, walk towards it. Yeah, stay go to there. the. Stay there. Stay there stay and there. stay on red, if you can, please. If you go towards the device, we can see you. Not to the one I'm holding, but the one Rich is holding. That's, That's the one. The one. Well, what was that? Hold, what was that? Hold, what was that? Oh, and that wind picks up just, just then. Okay. If, if you're not comfortable with the devices, can you make a noise? Can you hit the tree or something? Or make a large... What was that? That sounded like someone stepping behind me. I heard someone behind me. I heard that. Did you hear that? I heard it. What's going on? Can you make another noise, please, so we can confirm it? Yeah. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Um, are you um, the person who walks across the lake? Are you a trapped soul that's in one of the caves here? Yes, the caves, 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 oh my god. You said there was some rituals going in there, bro, didn't you? Yeah. Inside that uh, tunnel. Is it in the tunnel? We should go back there. We should. We should go back. We'll take the balls as well. We'll just do a quick. We'll do a quick read in here, and then we'll go back down there. Okay. Guys, if you are here, can you please touch one of these cat balls? Please, just one of them. If you can make one of them flash. It's not here. I'm telling you. It's down there. It's at the tunnel. Go. Let's go to the tunnels. Do you think it's going to happen there? Yeah. What do you reckon, Rich? Yeah. You up for that, yeah? yeah? If you want us to go to the right. tunnel, can you oh. please go red? Oh. Go red if you want us to go to the tunnel. We should go back there. We should go back there. Do I you want us to go it. down yeah, there? Let's put some big logs in the fire to keep it warm. Let's, let's go back. Yeah? yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, was a whistle. Did you hear I heard a whistle. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Walking about five, ten minutes away from camp, back to the uh, entrance of the tunnel slash cave. Uh, we can't get in there, which is we were absolutely gutted about because we wanted to explore it. But <coughs> what can you do? We're going to go back there now because there's been some uh, there's been some sort of witchcraft in there and things like that. A lot of hauntings. So we've got there with the cat balls and the K2 reader and try and pick something up if we can. If not, try and pick some audio or hopefully, fingers crossed, some visual evidence. So yeah, here we go. Right. Oh I can feel it already. I can feel the energy, it's dark. I feel warm. Do you feel warm already? Like instantly warm. Instantly weird. <sighs> wow. <sighs> what? What's that? Birds. Birds. Fly birds. Out okay. <laughs> spooky. <laughs> spooky birds flying out the trees. <laughs> Do we have to go right here? Where are we going? I don't know. I thought it was right. Oh, it's this way, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I feel spooky now. 
this automatically feels wrong, right? Oh no, I don't like it. I got a sick, eerie feeling. Lou, I got a sick, eerie feeling straight away. You know me with my perceptions. Yeah. Okay. What was that? Whoa. No, whoa, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, just no. Just that was a woman. Someone just screams. Help that's on camera. Oh my god! What was that? That was over that tree line there. That was straight over that bank. Right, okay, don't be scared, let's just do this, right? Uh, shake it off, boys. No! Whoa, 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 whoa! Bro, bro, what? Bro, bro. What is it? What do you hear? I turned another one behind me though, that's a woman. No, she's it's everywhere. Woman. All time, it's always a woman voice. The fuck? You okay? You alright? You alright? Yeah. This is scary. Just looking at it, right? Shall I put the cat balls on the on the actual? On the actual entrance. Yeah. And we'll and we'll knock and see if we get a knock back. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. Shh, shh. Bro, what was that? There's something inside. There's something inside. Bro, there's something inside. There was something inside. Quiet. Yeah, be quiet. Oh, I heard it. Bang inside. A massive bang inside. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Right, let's just, wait, 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 let's wait, wait. just be really quiet now, okay? Okay. Did you hear that, Rich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a massive bang. Right, one there. It's rumbling. It's rumbling Just now. hang on, hang on, hang on. No, it's rumbling now. Go on there. It's okay, it's okay, I got it. Yeah. Right. They can't move. Right. Oh, that one's fell off. Okay. okay. Hang on. Did you hear that, Mitch? It's massive rumbling, like it was inside the tunnel. You right? You right? Oh. Yeah, I can't see this one's rocks. Right? Okay, lights coming this way. Oh shit. I want to put this where it can't roll. That was crazy. Honest to God, I heard. As soon as I come near there, then I heard a massive rumbling. Why does that feel warm? It's weird, bro, it's weird here. Right. Right. I don't know what that was. It was I voice. Yeah, the voice. I talking there to my right. Whoa, whoa, getting some stuff on the camera. Okay. Just talking to my right. Carry on, carry on, bro, carry on. Right, guys. Last. If there's anyone here, can you please make any of these objects flash that we've got here? Just walk towards we them. We really want to communicate with you. Let's see if we can reply. Ah! 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 Oh, no, 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 bro, I'm all, I'm all, I'm not, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Fucking hell, man. So Rich didn't feel anything at the time, but look at the size of this. That's just come, that's Watch the light, watch the light a bit. Bring it out a bit. Look at that. That's both times he's fell now. I know. You know, fell on Denby, he's fell here again. Wow. Yeah, the Rich. We've got tissue back there, yeah. Let's get some clean on it. Right, let's get back to camp. Let's get back to camp, boys. What? What, behind you? Right next to me. I heard something clear, clear speak to me. Saying what? Well, not words, just noise. Just put your torch down slightly. Like, you know. Just put your torch down slightly, I can't see on camera. That's better. Calm down. Just chill. I knew when we went down there, we'd hear some stuff, and I come back up here, and it's just, yeah, I shouldn't have started saying all that stuff, but something in me just made me feel like saying it, you know what I mean, I didn't want to like, just trying to get a, trying to capture something.
I think we've got enough now, so what do you reckon? I'm going to take some pictures now and then we're going to chill out for the night. That's beautiful. Yeah? Maybe just calm it down now because it's getting a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. let's see some photos. <laughs> Literally going off behind you, bro. Hello. I heard that noise. I turned around I and I seen it. Not moving this spot. That that should not be going off. How's that gone off? What? Oh. Bro, what's the matter? Bro, did you just kicked it. How? How did that just move? I didn't. That, it moved. That just moved. That I'm sitting on. You know near it. Are you moving that? I'm nowhere near it. Oh my! I'm, I'm done. Oh, I'm oh, going. No. It just moved under me. It just moved. I'm sitting on it. I thought you meant the ball. The fucking wood. Sorry for that much. The, the wood I'm sitting on just moved. This is just back. This just right. moved. Sit back, sit back down. Sit. Have you got what? two cat balls over there, Rich? I thought you kicked it. There. There's all three there, yeah? How come only one went off? Only one went off, mate. I thought this was going to be over tonight now. <coughs> Literally just grabbing myself, my beer, my last beer. Uh, I think we provoked something that we shouldn't have. I don't even know it. I think it's gone. It's, uh, but my, head is, my head is lost. I feel lost. The one here? It's so weird. Such a weird feeling. I said, what did I say before we came to the title, bro? Yeah. Yeah. I said I had a you didn't want to come here. Honest to God, I, had, I didn't want to come. I, I was I was setting my tent up. I was like, I might just go. I don't know what feeling it is. I said I can put it into words. I'm not at the drink at that point. I'm not. Uh, it's, it's the Moss Valley. Been here, been coming here for years. It's not. It's not Denby Nut House. You know, it's different. That's different. This is meant to be a chill camp, we're all dancing on the campfire, they're having a laugh. Mm. It's just changed. I feel sick. I've heard bangs coming from inside of other side of walls, I shouldn't hear him. Smokes my eyes. I've heard people Well, that was the weirdest thing, if you actually think about it, the weirdest thing of the night was one hundred school kids walking through the park. <laughs> it's black. Yeah. That's weird. That's <laughs> weird. I'm not going, I'm not moving, I'm staying here tonight. I'm not going anywhere. Noises are mad. The noises I'm hearing, I'm smoking my eyes, I'm not crying by the way, guys. <laughs> right. I'm not smoking my eyes, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm grabbing this beer, I'm gonna chill out. Morning, Dad, and good morning, guys. <sighs> it's time to get up. That's us all packed away. Fire's gone, Lewis has gone from there. I've gone from here. Rich is just getting his tent. We've got two rubbish bags, leave no trace. And now it's time to go to Mother's for a bit of breakfast. Good yes. All right, guys, well, that concludes another day, another night in the wild, I guess. Uh, Ash didn't get much sleep, so I'm doing the outro. Um, I was on and off all night, it was windy as hell. And some uh, some noises throughout the night. We still have got some sleep though. Dogs barking since 5 a.m. Bit annoying. Uh, so now we're off for a Catherine cook some breakfast. The one and only. See you there. Don't take any photos of me. Sir. Don't take any photos of me. Please. Okay, I won't take no photos. <laughs> <laughs> What sort of over music do you want on this shot, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, you won't get a better breakfast than this. This is better than any other cafe. So this is made by Mother Dearest, and she's got her own business called Catherine Cookson. 
can put all the details on screen right now. It does deliveries in the Wrexham area. So if you're in the, from the US, too bad for you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs>